there are a lot of claims in the document about crazy things that the pyramids can do. Forget about just the lasers coming out of the apex, communicating with other planets and staying in constant communication, but actual flight. How is it that stone can suddenly fly? Every pyramid can levitate and fly and move between planets. Even with the shape that the pyramids are in right now, is it possible to activate them in the same way right now? Yes. What happened back then in ancient Egypt? Who built the pyramids? How they built the pyramids? Why they built the pyramids? The pharaohs at the time, they were known as the sons of God. The nickname at the time was Fetisol, and they came here from different planets during a different era. Most humans on this planet today are between the first in second dimension. Some people like you, starting to be more aware, can be in the third dimension. One day, all of us will reach not only the fifth, but a lot of people will be able to reach the ninth dimension. Something has to shift in this world for this to happen. It's another con job to make money and to control the people and to control the masses and to buy the people. But people are killing each other over this. The Bible was the first time that something came in and said, no, stop. There are rules and regulations. Once you reach the days of Noah, after the big flood, suddenly God comes in and gives you the new rules and explains that he's not giving you a present. It's more of a punishment because it was a very corrupt society. They don't want you to know about spaceships. They don't want you to know about levitation and ask yourself why, because where's the energy coming from? They know how to harness the energy and make a pyramid fly. Now imagine you have this technology today. Your house, your car, your factories, free energy, no electricity. They don't want to give you free energy because again, free energy translates to money. Money translates to power. They need to control you. Why can't I speak my mind? Why can't you speak your mind? I thought we live in a democracy. So who's going to decide what's true or not? 